What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to properly set up a lush mob farm using the new lush moss. I will also show you how to easily spawn the snare plants so that you can get the snare plant figurine. The Lush Moss is a mob spawner floor tile that will either spawn a caveling gardener or a caveling hunter. These two mobs spawn from the Aesius Wilderness normally, and they still do. It works similar to the Hive Chrysalis. You simply place it over the, any ground tile and they'll start spawning mobs. The Snare Plant is a special spawn type that I will explain later on. The Lush Moss was recently added in the Sunken Sea update to let you spawn these two mobs anywhere you want beyond the Aesius Wilderness. Here are some notable items that you can get from the Lush Mob Farm. These are the figurines. Um, the fi these figurines come from their respective spawn type, the uh, Snare Plant, the uh, Caveling Hunter, and the Caveling Gardener. You can get the Farmer's Hat, um, from the Caveling Gardener, you can get the Petal Ring from the uh, Snare Plants. And uh, let's see here, you can also get the the uh, the Hunter Hood and the Hunter Cloak from the um, from the uh, Caveling Hunter that's shooting at me right now. Okay, uh, of course the farmers also drop these two seeds that you, the, that you can use, including the new Oat Wheat Seed. All right. So, how do you obtain the lush moss? First, let me let me get rid of this guy here because he's he's shooting at me. And there we go. Uh, so, how do you get the how do you obtain the lush moss? And this is the item here that we're talking about, the lush moss. And let me see if I can pull up the map just to give you an idea of the color code. Okay, the lush moss tile does have a chance to drop from the existing two mobs that I, I you know, mentioned, the Caveling Gardener and the Caveling Hunter. But they're also found on the ground in the Aesius Wilderness. All right, so let me zoom out and show you this Aesius Wilderness here and the color code here. Even though my world was generated before the Sunken Sea update, I was able to find a ton of these along the border of my Aesius Wilderness and the Sunken Sea biome. So as you can see here, this is like the rough border between this Aesius and the Sunken Sea. And uh, these little caveling moss was spawning like uh, along here. Um, I think there was some down here too, right? See how like this is the caveling, uh, this is the lush moss here as well. Um, so they do, they do have um, a chance of, or they should actually grow on your existing uh, you know, world that was generated before the Sunken Sea by um, uh, Sunken Sea update. The Lush Moss shows up as lime color code on the world map. So here, here are the examples of, of where I, I actually got my Lush Moss. Um, I, I actually went over here and dug up some on the friendly ground. Okay. Um, like the fungal spores, you can always create a new world and go dig up these Lush Moss from that map and bring it back to your main world to use. So if you don't get any lush moss, you know, from your existing world, uh, you can always, you know, go go get it from creating a new world. Um, all right. So, so uh, since this video is about how to get the snare plants to spawn, I will explain to you how the snare plants work. All right. And uh, this is what the snare plants look like on the map. That's, you know, you can see the farmers running around the, the 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 farm here and the snare plants is the one that's going around the the border it looks like this here that's the snare plant figurine um, the snare plant is a trap so be careful standing near them they will damage you and snare you preventing movement the uh, snare plant is an additional spawn created by the caveling gardener so the snare plants do not grow from the lush moss themselves you first have to spawn a caveling gardener, and then, then the gardener in turn spawns the uh, snare plant uh, itself. All right. Uh, so the the gardener is the basically the guy with the the yellow hat. It should be obvious. The farmers will run around and plant these on the ground, but but okay, uh, but not just any ground. Okay. So here's here's the important detail. 
The farmers will only place these snare plants on top of a grass ground tile or the tile adjacent to the grass ground as an overflow. But primarily it will be on top of a grass ground tile. That is this, this tile here. This is the same tile that is from the Aziz Wilderness. You're going to need to dig this up to bring back to your main base if you plan on setting up a lush mob farm that's not in the Aziz Wilderness. All right. Um, all right. So, the, but the grass ground has to be near for the the farmer to plant anything. And that's very very important note here. Okay. So here's the other important detail. Each farmer has up to five charges. This means they can only plant up to five snare plants per farmer. Once they use up all their charges, they won't place any new traps. Now I have tested this out, saving and exiting and then even you know exiting the game completely um, and then coming back and reloading the map to see if the farmers reset their charges but this does not work I've, I've seen a YouTube video where somebody was saying like hey you know they only place four traps and he was suggesting something like you know closing out or saving and coming back and you might get like another another plant or whatever it is well I think he probably miscounted right uh, it or he it was just by coincidence that he he got to four snare plants and thought that was it, and then he exited, and then he came back, uh, reloaded, and got a fifth, a fifth uh, snare plant to to plant. Right, so that that's probably the case. It could have been he miscounted or he lost count, uh, because it's very easy, and I can understand that because it's very easy to lose count. I've I've lost count a few times on how many times they do their um, their planting, but I will demonstrate this for you in a second here. Um, the, the mechanics of the snare plant and exactly how many how many uh, plants uh, or snare plants it, it will um, spawn. All right, well, first let me show you the two lush mob farms that I have created. All right, so here, this is the top half, and then there's a bottom half. I, I created two lush mob farms just to demonstrate and prove my point. Um, now, if you look at the map right here, this color code right here is actually the color code of the grass ground. And then the yellow uh, or the lime is actually the lush, the lush moss um, ground tile that I placed, right? So I actually did an experiment test to place a ground, grass ground right there to see what would happen. And down here, the border of this, I decided just to use regular dirt tile, right? No, no grass ground, except for this one grass ground tile here just to demonstrate my point that they will only place snare plants right on a grass uh, ground tile and then up here where I had that one right I remember how I told you that it will either be on the grass ground tile itself or or adjacent to it as an overflow but if you don't have a grass ground tile at all you're not going to get any any snare plants and over here you know there's also these two spots here it's also an overflow and by overflow I mean like they'll it's either a glitch or a bug where they they both try to run and place at the same time and then so one gets placed and then the second guy might have reached it there first and he actually started placing it right here instead because it's kind of like an overflow um, to to where they were intending to place it so I did kind of notice that when I was spawning these little snare plants okay um, okay for the mob farm I recommend using a moat surrounding the farm to contain the mobs, all right. Similar to my previous uh, video where I talked about like the the shrewman, I recommend using a a molt, um, like a water tile around this. And th in this case, I actually did a two tile uh, molt instead of one tile. Uh, it, it's it's probably good to do a two tile because then you can actually boat across this, or you can actually put a bridge across this, right, and then close the bridge off behind you so they don't escape, just so that you can get into the into the um, into the uh, into the the farm itself, All right? And 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 this will allow you to control the mobs better um, as well. Okay. Now the the other recommendation I have here is since we're focusing on trying to get the snare plants, I recommend shooting down each of the caving hunters with a range weapon that is not the legendary bow, so that you don't spawn the ghost. Because when if you spawn the ghost, the ghost will will end up killing your your farmers. And you don't want that. All right, so that's another key point. Um, the idea is to keep the the gardener as the remaining mob, so that you can go into the farm 
and then get them to plant the uh, snare plants. All right, and, you, and like I mentioned earlier, you can either boat across or build bridges across. Now, just for the purpose of this video, I actually, you know, uh, went over there and got a couple of these farmers to place the traps. So they, most of them have used up uh, their charges. And I think I might have killed a couple of moth, um, but some of the some some of the remaining gardeners here might have already used their charges, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and and boat across. Uh, first, let's take a look at any. Let's get rid of any of these hunters. So that way we don't get hit from afar. And I also um, have this little mob over here to, to demonstrate my point. Let's go ahead and actually let me de do that demonstration for you right now. That way you can see the um, the number of charges, the number of plants he'll, he'll drop. Right. Let's go ahead and see those. Right. See how like he only places on the green tile. I mean, I can be running around over here and uh, even stand still. Oh, and, and and oh yeah, the other thing too is I recommend getting like a ninety percent dodge build uh, while doing this. I mean, or or whatever dodge gear that you have. I mean, if you if you can't get to ninety, that's fine. But if you can stand still, you know, just let him run around you, right? And once in a while, he'll try to hit you. And if you're you're dodging it, then yeah, you won't you won't take any damage. See how like he doesn't place anything around because he doesn't see anything or the uh, the grass tiles, right? But if I place it like right here, I'm standing right here. You'll see he'll um, he'll he'll place you know the the snare plants. Right, so that's number two. And uh, we'll keep going in here until he pl places all all five. Now the reason why I suggest and this is the this is the important thing, why it's easier to to set up like a uh, lush mob farm with the grass uh, ground tile is is so that you can line up and predict exactly where he's going to place his snare plants. You see what I'm saying? Versus like if you if your entire farm was covered with grass uh, tiles, then you're gonna get like random placements here and there, right? And you can accidentally you know trip over them or trigger them. So by doing a farm setup where you actually have like the grass tiles lined up in a specific location. Or placement, then you know where he's going to place his um, his traps, and then you don't you don't accidentally you know run around and get triggered by it. So I would recommend like a farm basically similar to the one I had above, and just put all the grass tiles along the edges, right? And that way you can stand near them like this, and you know where exactly he's going to be placing his tiles. I mean, you could do like strips even, or like maybe like a you know, like a, a, a two by two in the middle, that's a, and then just be able to w run around it. And that way, you you know exactly where to move, and where he, they're going to place their plants, and you don't get an accidental surprise uh, placement. So here, there he has exactly the five charges, and uh, he won't he won't place anymore after this. So I'm leaving this little spot here and this spot here just to see if there's anything beyond five. And I've I've been doing a test on this for a while now, so I know it's just five and not six, but for this demonstration I decided to show you, you know, these little extra green tile spots so that, you know, I can prove my point here. As you can see, you know, there's nothing there. Alright, so now that you've now that he's already laid out his five, and of course like I said, I actually tested, you know, uh, exiting and saving and reloading and everything. He does not reset his charges. Alright, so now that he's finished, I'm gonna just go kill him off. And then uh, take care of these sn snare plants. Oh, look at that. I got another pedal ring. All right, so that's just an example of um, how that works. And, uh, and I'll, I'll walk in here to show you even, you know, let's um, and see how, like, these guys, these guys won't uh, place anything down. See, they, they just won't place anything down, right? But if I take them out here, watch. <laughs> they'll they'll place it all along over there. See how that? 
See how they, they just all, all decide to place it along this path here. It just makes it easier for you to farm these little snare plants. I'm just trying to free up the spots. And, uh, so yeah, you, I mean, you guys get the idea, right? So I'm going to get rid of all this now. Oh, see, I got caught because I just walked across that, you know, so that's, that's an example of getting snared. And see right here, he plants it right next to it. And I mentioned that as an overflow because it's, it's adjacent to a, um, a grass tile. So like I said, it's adjacent or on the green grass tile. But a green grass tile has to exist first before they even consider placing it to the adjacent tiles. Oh, I got hit again. So yeah, this, this is... That was just my bad. <laughs> Alright, let me just go ahead and kill them off and show you. So that's a demonstration of of how the uh, the lush moth moss farm first uh, mob farms work, and uh, yeah, it, they also can place their trap on top of a lush uh, tile itself, and this right here is an example, and over here is also an example of them placing it on top. So my recommendation is if you built a um, a uh, mob farm, right, I would just uh, replace this whole border here with the the grass ground tiles and then that's how you'll be able to get the um, the uh, the snare plants to spawn all right so let's let's go ahead and let me remove this and I'm gonna I'm gonna boat over here just to show you um, and we're gonna, we're just gonna kill all these little plants here And I'm gonna hop in there. And these guys will actually you see how like they will they'll plant them along the edges. So if you want to, you know, if you want to do it safely, you can actually do it from. Oh look, <laughs> I just I just got a second uh, snare plant figurine. Very nice, very nice. So this awesome video here. So just, you know, you can just boat around like this and just get them to do their little snare plant farming or planting. Oops. Yeah, that was bad. But I just got snare, but that doesn't mean that I, uh, I, I blew the charges on that just because the guy, you can actually just go back and just pick it up. Now, the other thing, too, is that if you... Um, pick up the talent that reduces the snares right here you can do that as well uh, I just did not I decided to go with the uh, the the balance stance so that will that will help uh, the armor I mean you could probably deep you know get rid of this and actually put that there too if you wanted to um, that's another possibility uh, so that's an example of getting a pedal ring All right, and I could just hop in here and run around and see how like the farmers are just placing all the stuff on the edges. And uh, wow, this is perfect. Like I was able to, to capture how is it? How I was able to get like a my snare second snare plant. And see how like all the all the all the grass areas are getting pl uh, planted with the snare plants. So that you know was predictable, right? It's a predictable spot. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys off because I've already gotten what I needed. So once you once you've got the snare plant, I mean, and if you don't want to farm anymore for like the petal rings or or this the snare plant figurine, or sorry, once you've got the figurine, you you can just go back and just cover this whole entire thing up with a uh, spike trap and not even worry about the whole. Um, uh, snare plant uh, farming anymore. A after you get the 
the figurine. And that way, you don't have to like go in here and kill the guy anymore. All right, so hopefully this video helps you guys. And uh, if you did find it useful, please um, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. Right, hit the like, subscribe. It will it will really help me out a lot. And uh, all right, uh, leave down in the comments. You know, uh, if, you know if this you know if you find anything else that might be a useful information related to the uh, the lush moths or the um, the snare plants um, farming. All right, catch you guys next time.